tracking the tropical storm Bonnie. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sally Hernandez. Chris is off this afternoon. Tropical storm Bonnie just hit land south of Miami. That storm is headed over South Florida, crossing the Gulf of Mexico, and could even encourage a few showers right here in our area. We're going to check in with Sean in just a few minutes to see what kind of rain we could see. But first, new at noon, the Weather Channel's Jim Contori has the latest from North Miami Beach, Florida. Well, as weak as Bonnie is, it is still capable of producing some very, very heavy rain here, guys. Right now, we're uh, in the clear, if you will. But I'll tell you, just a few minutes ago, you couldn't even see across this intercoastal waterway to the other side. That's only uh, about an eighth of a mile. Let me show you the pictures here, too. And this is right under the Collins Avenue Bridge. We always tell you about how, fall, uh, how fast the rain comes down, you know, especially when we speak of one to three inches per hour. That just basically piles up on the roads. And you can see some of these relief pipes here, the drains, if you will, on the bridge that are relieving uh, the water from, from that actual roadway and that bridge. So tremendous amounts of water piling up. This is why you hydroplane, essentially. This is the kind of water that's sitting on the roads and doesn't have the time to come off uh, as quick as it's coming down. So there's a good reason for that. It was raining so heavily, as a matter of fact, Pelicans said, heck, I'm not flying in this, and they took refuge on one of the posts here through the intercoastal waterway. So a rough afternoon for Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, uh, all the way down through Miami and into South Miami as well, with occasional heavy rain. This may be some of the worst weather that we're going to experience with Tropical Storm Bonnie as we go through the morning hours. So far, so good with the wind. No reports at this point of power outages. Back to you. Pelican said no thank you, huh? Well, Bonnie's prompted evacuations at the leak site of the BP oil spill. Today, further delaying efforts to permanently seal off that well. BP says evacuating the site will now delay all kill efforts of the well for at least 10 to 12 days, meaning that the earliest they would be able to now permanently seal off the well would not be until mid-August. So a lot of you at home are wondering, how is Bonnie going to affect our weather here? Well, we know when a hurricane or a tropical storm moves in, the front right quad, as we call it, moves in, and that's where the rain is heaviest. Right. And uh, We know that, that if it's going to move into Louisiana, that it's going to be Louisiana to the east. But we could see a few showers out of it. And okay. with that, we may see a little bit of light rain here. We're not seeing a whole lot uh, expected right now. In fact, there's some speculation that this storm system may only be a storm and may actually weaken as it gets closer. There's not a lot of confidence in Tropical Storm Bonnie as of yet. 12.03, let's go outside and take a look at the latest. It is now at, and I had an email viewer uh, mention this, we do show the last lawns if you want those. Uh, of course, they've got those. And, uh, of course, you can uh, get those on our website as well. Latitude 25.4 north. Longitude negative 80.3 west. Winds are at 40 miles per hour. Gust of 52. Pressure 29.77. Moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. And this is what the Hurricane Center thinks is going to happen. By 7 o'clock this evening, 40 mile per hour winds, so no development there. It continues to the northwest, west-northwest, if you will. A little more northwest. Moves into Louisiana and then weakens off 7, 7 a.m. Sunday morning to a tropical depression once again. 35 mile per hour winds. Watch how quickly it takes a turn to the north doesn't really hardly even move into the state. By Monday, 7 a.m., winds are down to 25 miles per hour. Typically, though, just to the right of the projected path of this is where the heaviest of rain will fall. We think that, that obviously puts it into Louisiana and not really anything for here. We will see clouds and showers develop on that, but if you've ever been in one of these where the storm is off to the west by a couple hundred miles, it really doesn't bring us much more than little bands of clouds and showers. It kind of makes for an interesting sky, a little bit of extra cloud cover. At the moment, though, we do have a few showers popping up on the radar. Early this morning, about 2, 3, 4 o'clock this morning, we had a little thunderstorm activity to the southeast rolling in, weakened up as it got close to the Austin area, and we haven't seen a whole lot of development, just isolated showers and those partly to mostly cloudy skies. That will continue through the afternoon. 86, mostly cloudy, light breeze, humidity at 70 percent. Maybe this has been getting you the mold at 1950 and high has been present. We're looking for a possibility for a few isolated showers. We'll put the temperature at 95 for this afternoon.